Edward Hall is very fond of his Isetta bubble car. He's so keen on it that he's even joined the Isetta Owners Club. I was tipped off about the love of Edward's life by all the lads down at the Standard Inn, Rye in Sussex. Hello? Hello, Mr Hall? Yeah? Uh, my name's Roger Lewis. I, I'm secretary of the uh, Hastings Isetta Club. The Isetta set. Oh, yeah. And I, I was giving you a number by the uh, Owners Club. Uh, I was wondering, in view of the fact that we're only just along the way from Rye, you know, whether you're, you're interested in uh, any of our club activities. You uh, yeah. You've still got an eye setter? Yeah, because um, I had the letter from uh, the people and I, oh, in about the beginning of December. Yeah. And I was going to rejoin membership this year. Right. Well, we've got, we've got a big, big thing on in the summer that uh, I'm trying to whip up as much support for. Um, do you know how the eye setter got its name? No. Well, it's named after a place in Italy. Yeah. And uh, we're going to do a big rally. We're going to get as many of the bubble cars together as possible. Yeah. And we're all going to drive to eye setter. And, right. and then we're going to have a big party down there. Oh. And we're calling the whole thing Blowing Bubbles. Yeah. And that's what we're going to do all the way down there. We're, 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 I've got one of these firms that makes bubbles, you know, for kids' parties and things. Yeah. And they are going to do us huge containers of the liquid. Yeah. And we're all going to have those little ring things. And we are going to blow bubbles all the way to Isetta, celebrating the run. Yeah. Oh, that sounds interesting. It's, uh, it's, it's for two reasons, you know. I mean, obviously, if we can get some money together for charity, that'll be good. Yeah. It, it's, it helps, you know, to get all the Isetta owners together. But also, it will be a world bubble-blowing record, because we reckon it's going to take four days... And no one has ever blown bubbles for four days. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's interesting. And you say you reckon this is going to do this back in the summer, like? Well, we've obviously got to find a date which is mutually acceptable, you know, to, to all the set owners that I can get hold of. Yeah. Uh, a dwindling breed, I think you'll agree. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah, I've uh, had mine now for about... Oh, it must be about seven years now. Yeah. And I've had it stood up mostly all the time. Uh, How do you mean stood up? Well, I've been I've had other vehicles, you see. I had a motorbike and a car. Oh, I see. You don't mean like stood up on end? No. No, so, um, I've, uh, this is the first time actually it's been on the road for a year. Well, this could be a great way of yeah. celebrating its return to the road, really. Yeah. We've got all sorts. We've even got one chap who's over in Bexhill who's got a V8 engine in his... And he's he's going to come along. God love a mic. Sorry. <laughs> That's an engine, isn't it? Yeah, it's a big four point seven job, you know, out of an American thing. Yeah. Uh, it did not go. Yeah. It re I've seen it stand up and go. It did not. There's not a lot of room for him inside, but it did not go. Yeah, mine's not all original. I've got uh, no sunshine roof. I've welded a plate in it. Oh, how are we going to get the bubbles out then? Ah, yeah, that's the trouble with my one. I thought, see, when I got mine, someone had messed about with it so much. Yeah. So I welded a plate in mine, solid. Ah. Would ah, it... that's the only problem with mine. See, I've done a lot of modification on my one. See, if you were blowing bubbles insi yeah. inside a car, you could end up with poor visibility there, couldn't you, with a lot of bubbles inside? Yeah. How could they get out? Were your windows open? Yeah. So the bubbles could get out through the window? Yeah, I've got the windows open and all that. Because I wouldn't, you know, I mean, obviously, if you're driving for four days... You could uh, become incapacitated with that number of bubbles inside the vehicle. Yeah, yeah. But you basically you're interested. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, look, Ed, would, would you like to make a note of my name? Yeah. Right. It's Noel Edmonds from Radio 1. Noel Edmonds from Radio 1? Yes. You're joking. I'm not, Edward. A number of your mates from the uh, Standard Inn wrote to me. <laughs> the rotten swines. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just pricked his bubble.